full body compound movements today. We're gonna be working everything, getting that body nice and jacked. So stay tuned, five exercises, full body. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah. Shake it out. Okay, a little bit more legs. We're gonna do a squat into a sumo squat. So the only movement we're gonna be changing is you're gonna separate those feet and stick those toes out on that sumo squat with the inner and outer part of that thigh. But for right now, we're about shoulder width apart. I am quad dominant, so I have them a little bit farther so I can hit those hamstrings. Going 90 degrees, coming up, putting those feet out. Going as low as you can. Don't let those knees go over those toes. Feel the burn. 90 degrees, don't let those toes, or don't let those knees go over those toes. Sitting back, if you need to, look up. Okay guys, up next we have hammer curls. So instead of having your fingernails pointed to the sky, you're gonna be pointed in towards that body. And you're lifting, coming all the way up, Squeezing for a split second, also squeezing your hands. So squeezing this bar will engage it a little bit more Then you're coming all the way down, so you're here. Okay, so that's what it looks like from here. But since it's a compound movement, we're gonna be doing two things at once. So you're bringing them up all the way to that shoulder, turning it out, hitting that curl, coming those elbows back in and down by the side. So you want that dumbbell pointing all the way up. So you're here and turn. Hitting that bicep and hitting that shoulder. Try not to sway with your body, putting it solely in those two muscle groups. down that's one rep so each movement we're doing equals one rep together because it's a compound movement 15 reps and then flex afterwards check and see if you got pump okay up next 
next we're going to work the triceps and the rear delt together. So you're going to be hinging forward. You can have a slight bend in your knees and you're going to take your chest all the way down so it's parallel with that floor. You're keeping those elbows right by those sides and you're just kicking it all the way up and out. Then from here, you're going to just lower those arms all the way down, leading with your elbows to get that rear delt and you're going to come up and into that side. So it's going to give you that nice low line after a while, which is like what everybody wants. And then you see you're coming here. And you bring those elbows right back back by those sides, sticking them as close to that body as possible. Let me grab the weights and we'll do it. So right here, picking it up. It's going to be difficult but try not to sway with that body putting it slowly in that rear delt and that tricep if you need to lower that weight you can also do that too making sure you're controlling that muscle all the way back trying to get all the way to the tricep from the lower to the top part it sucks but enjoy okay lastly we're going to attack a little bit of that back and biceps so we're gonna do a row with a bicep curl, just a regular standard bicep curl. So we're hinging at those hips again. You're bringing those weights down in front of you, pulling it all the way up by those sides, holding for a split second, engaging those lats, then all the way back down, stand up, and hit that curl. Making sure you're squeezing with your hands onto those weights as much as you can. It's gonna engage all those muscles. exercises that we have for you today working that whole entire body you're going to try to get 15 reps of each exercise four times through it's going to feel the burn you're going to check that mirror after and you're just going to feel so buff and so much fun like subscribe comment i love talking to you guys other than that piece that's all i got